for this video, we are going to talk about finding the equation of a line using the point-slope form. So, for our previous video, we already talked about finding the equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept using the slope-intercept form. How about if the given is the slope and a point? Okay, so how do we find the equation for that? Okay, so first, we need to remember na yung point slope form of a line is in this form. So, y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. So, this is what we call the point slope form of a line. And this equation is what we will use to find the required equation. Okay? So, let's say we have this uh, given problem. So, as you can see, ang pagkakaiba nito sa unang method natin in finding the equation is the given here is your slope and a point. So, sa unang lesson kasi natin, ang given doon ay slope and y-intercept. Kaya, ang ginamit natin is yung slope-intercept form. Now, in this given or example, ang slope ang given and a point. Okay? So, dito natin gagamitin yung point-slope form na tinatawag. Hindi natin pwedeng uh, makuha yung equation using the slope-intercept form dahil hindi naman slope and y-intercept yung given dito. Ang given dito is slope and um, a point. Okay? So, using the point-slope form, what you need to do is that just label yung point nyo as x sub 1 and y sub 1. So, in this case, halimbawa, yung slope mo is 5 and then yung point mo is negative 2 and 3, pakilabelan lang yung point mo kung asan si x coordinate and y coordinate ng x sub 1 and y sub 1. Now, using the, the point slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. Isa substitute mo lang yung given na slope and yung point na nilabelan mo as x sub 1 and y sub 1. So, like this. So, y minus, yung y sub 1 mo is 3. So, pakilagyan lang ng uh, 3 and then parentheses indication na you did substitute the value of y sub 1. Next, yung slope mo is 5. So, pakilagay lang agad ay 5. Okay? And then, times quantity x minus yung x sub 1 mo is negative 2. So, pakilagay ng parentheses and then negative 2. And then, isimplify natin by multiplying the signs. So, in this case, y um, negative times positive 3. So, it will be equal to y minus 3 equals 5 times quantity x. Negative times negative, it will become positive. So, pas so, x plus 2, and then yan. And then, right after you do that, you need to um, get rid of the parentheses. Okay? So, you need to distribute 5 to each term. To each term in the parentheses. So, what will happen is that, so, distribute mo si 5 to x and positive 2. Okay? So, it will become y, y minus 3 equals 5 times x is 5x and then 5 times positive 2, it will become positive 10. And then just um, make your equation into standard form of linear equation 
which is AX plus BY equals C using transposition method. So we need to transpose 5 on the left side and then 3 on the right side of the equation. So it will become negative 5X positive CY so plus Y and then you have 10 here. Negative 3 will become positive 3 or plus 3 there. And then simplify natin, negative 5x plus y, 10 plus 3 is equal to 13, okay? And then you need to remember na yung a, or which is yung coefficient ni x, in linear equation, it cannot be a negative number. So you need to cancel out negative sa 5, so you need to multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So it will become... Negative 5x times negative 1, it will become 5x. And then, negative, uh, sorry, positive y times negative 1, it will become negative y. Equals 13 times negative 1, it will become negative 13. So, this will be now the required equation for this problem. We have 5x minus y equals negative 13. It is in standard form of linear equation. So how about another example? So let's say we have this problem. So we will be finding the equation of a line whose slope is negative 2 and passes through the point negative 6 and negative 4. So again, the given is your slope and a point. So therefore, you are going to use yung point slope form to find the equation of a line. So the solution will be So using the point slope form, we have y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. And then pakilabelan lang yung point natin as x sub 1 and y sub 1 para hindi tayo malito. And then, substitute natin in this equation. So, we have y minus yung y sub 1 natin is negative 4. So, quantity and then negative 4 equals m natin is negative 2 times quantity x minus x sub 1 natin is negative 6. So, quantity negative 6. And then simplify natin, multiply natin yung signs. So y negative times negative, so it will become positive. So plus 4 equals negative 2. And then we have x negative times negative, that is positive 6. And then continuing the solution, um, we need to distribute negative 2 to each term inside the parentheses. So we have y plus 4 equals negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 6, the answer is negative 12. Okay, and then we need to transform this equation into the standard form of linear equation, which is ax plus by equals c. So transpose natin c negative 2 on the left side and then c positive 4 on the right side of the equation. So it will become negative 2x will become positive 2x, positive cy, so plus y equals negative 12, positive 4 will become negative 4. Okay, and then we have 2x plus y, simplify natin negative 12 minus negative, ah, uh, sorry, negative 12 minus 4. The answer is negative 16. Okay? So this will now be the required equation for the line. So we have 2x plus y equals negative 16. This is already in standard form of linear equation. So this is now your answer.
Next is, how about if the given is a point and an equation? So, di ba kanina, ang given natin is a slope and a point. So, therefore, we can just simply use the point slope form to find the equation of the line. Paano kung ang problem natin is like this? The given is a point and an equation. So, technically, um, we can label this x sub 1 and y sub 1, but then we do not have our slope. So, we will solve for the slope using the equation. So, we will use this equation to find our slope. Okay? So, the best way to find the slope using this equation is to transform this equation into the slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And then, by using or by transforming this equation into this, we can just simply get the value or the coefficient of x and that will be your slope. Okay? So, transpose lang natin um, si negative 4y okay, to the left side of the equation. And we will transpose C eight sa right side ng equation naman. So, magpapalit lang sila. Okay? So, negative 4y will become 4y. Positive na siya. And then x. C8, pag tinranspose natin, it will become negative 8. Okay? And then, as you can see here, sa slope intercept form, walang coefficient si y. So, we need to get rid of the, co the coefficient of y here. So, divide natin siya sa 4 para ma-cancel out. Kung di-divide natin siya sa 4, di-divide natin yung right side ng equation sa 4 din. So, technically, lahat ng terms sa equation di-divide din natin sa 4. So, we now have y equals x over 4 is 1 fourth x no or we can just write x over 4. And then, negative 8 over 4, it will become negative 2. We can simplify that as negative 2 kasi divisible si negative 8 kay 4. So, as you can see, ang slope natin dito is 1 fourth, di ba? Kasi this equation can also be written as y equals 1 fourth x, hindi lang nilagay si 1, minus 2. So, ang m natin is 1 fourth, as you can see. Now, take a look at the uh, given or the problem. So, sabi, or na-mention dyan sa problem na that line is parallel to this equation. So, there is a word na parallel. So, pag sinabi kasi natin na parallel lines, always remember po na <clears throat> the slopes are the same. Kapag parallel lines yung given, yung slope nila ay same. Magkamukha lang. So, therefore, we can we can use one fourth as our slope in this problem. So, pwede natin isulat na m is equal to one fourth. So, yung nasolve natin na m or na slope is same lang dun sa hinahanap nating line. Okay? So, now na meron na tayong slope, we can find the equation of the line. Okay? So, this will be our solution. And using the point slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. Yan yung point slope form, di ba? So, we have y minus y sub 1 natin is 6. No? Equals m natin is 1 fourth. And then, times quantity x minus x sub 1 natin is 3, which is positive. And then, um, multiply natin yung signs, negative times positive, negative. So, y minus 6 
one fourth times quantity x negative times positive three will become negative three or minus three. And then yeah. And then right after that, we need to distribute C one fourth to each term inside the parentheses. So y minus six equals one four times x is one fourth x. Okay. And then one fourth times negative three, it will become negative. 3 over 4. So now, as you can see here, yung slope natin is a fraction. So it cannot be a fraction. We need to cancel out the denominator dun sa slope mo. So para ma-cancel out natin yung denominator sa slope mo, you need to multiply the whole equation by the denominator of the slope, which is 4. Okay? So, now we have y times 4, it will become 4y. Negative 6 times 4, negative 24 equals cancel lang. So, it will become x na lang. And then, dito then cancel out. So, it will become negative 3 na lang. So, ayan. And then, um, transpose lang natin to make it in standard form of linear equation. So, kailangan natin i-transpose cx on the left side and c negative 24 on the right side of the equation. So, pag transpose natin si x, x will become negative x, positive si 4y, so plus 4y, and then we have negative 3, negative 24, pag transpose natin, it will become positive 24. So, simplify natin, we have negative x plus 4y equals negative 3 plus 24, that will be equal to 21. So, now as you can see dito, negative yung coefficient ni x or negative si a, technically. So, it cannot be like that. So, kailangan natin tanggalin yung negative sign. negative sign beside x. So technically, we will be multiplying the whole equation by negative 1. So, multiply natin kay negative 1. Negative x times negative 1, it will become x, which is positive. Positive 4y times negative 1, it will become negative 4y equals 21 times negative 1, it will become negative 21. Therefore, this will be now the required equation for that line. We have x minus 4y equals negative 21. It is already in standard form of linear equation. Lastly, we have the same example, katulad nung kanina sa example number 3. But then as you can see, the word written here is perpendicular. So kanina, we have... Um, the equation that passes to through 3, 6 and is parallel to the line 8 equals x minus 4y. How about if that equation that passes 3, 6 is perpendicular to the line 8 equals x minus 4y? So what will be the equation of the line? So first of all, ulit, wala tayong slope. So we will be finding the slope of this line, okay, na given. So, we have 8 equals x minus 4y. Convert lang natin siya into the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, para mabilis natin makuha yung slope. So, transpose natin si negative 4y and cx. Okay? So, negative 4y will become uh, positive 4y equals x. 8 will become negative. So, negative 8 or minus 8. And then, we need to get rid of the coefficient of y. So, divide that in whole equation by 4 to cancel out 4 there. So, it will become 
So it will become like this. Y equals x over 4 minus 8 over 4 is simply 2. Okay? So technically, katulad ng ginawa ko kanina, it can be written as like this. Y equals 1 fourth x, no? Minus 2. So basically, ang m na na-compute natin is 1 fourth. Just like what we computed a while ago. Sa same lang naman sila, ng equation. But then, uh, kanina sabi, if it is parallel, the slope is the same. Okay? Kapag perpendicular naman ang given, you need to get the negative reciprocal of the slope. Okay? Negative reciprocal. So, when you say uh, reciprocal, pagpapalitin mo ng position yung numerator and denominator mo. So, basically, si 1 fourth, pag pinagpalit natin ng position yan, or pag kinuha natin yung reciprocal ni 1 fourth, it will become 4 over 1 or simply 4. Now, we have a negative. No? Negative, ibig sabihin, kung positive yung given, gagawin mo siyang negative. Kung negative naman yung given, gagawin mo siyang positive. So, there will be a change of the position sa numerator and denominator and there will be also the change of sign. So, imbes na positive 4 yan, it will become negative 4. So, the slope is negative 4. Kasi kinuha natin yung negative reciprocal ni 1 fourth. Kaya nakuha natin si negative 4. Positive si 1 fourth, so gawin natin negative. 1 fourth yung given, so kunin natin yung reciprocal ni 1 fourth, it will be 4. And negative 4 is the slope. Okay? So yun yung pagkakaiba nila. So be, be aware na kapag parallel yung according sa given, they have the same slope. Okay? So, di nyo papalitan yung na-compute nyo na slope. But then, kapag perpendicular yung given, you need to get the negative reciprocal of the slope that you computed. So, now na meron na tayong slope, we can now find the equation of a line using the point slope form. Now, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m quantity x minus x sub 1. So, this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is our slope. So, y minus y sub 1 natin is 6 equals m natin is negative 4 times quantity x minus x sub 1 natin is 3. Okay? Um, simplify natin by multiplying the signs. Negative times positive 6. So, negative 6 or y minus 6 equals negative 4 x negative times positive 3, it will be negative 3 or minus 3, no? And then right after that, we need to distribute si negative 4 to each term inside the parenthesis. So we have y minus 6, negative 4 times x, negative 4x, negative 4 times negative 3, positive 12. Okay? And then we need to transform this equation into the standard form of linear equation. So we need to transpose si negative 4x on the left side of the equation. Si negative 6, kailangan natin siya i-transpose sa right side ng equation. So it will become like this. So we have negative 4x. Pag tin-transpose natin, magiging siyang positive 4x. And then we have positive y equals 12 Tinranspose natin si negative 6, so magiging siyang positive 6. So, 12 plus 6. So, simplifying this, we have 4x plus y. Compute natin 12 plus 6, this will be equal to 18. And that's it, no? This will be now the equation of the line that passes to, through 3, 6 and perpendicular to the line 8 equals x minus 4y. So that is how you find the equation of a line using the point slope.